Hi, this is going to be <clears throat> a angel reading for the sign of cancer. So cancer, sorry, I have a little bit of a different setup today. I hope the lighting's okay. Um, it's been a little bit of a challenge finding ways to make these videos without my tripod. Um, and I haven't um, had a chance to order a new one. So let's just hope that this works until I can either get my tripod or order a new one. This is going to have to suffice. <laughs> That's, um, it's a little bit of a sea background. I don't know why everything is up so high. Uh, maybe the cats seem to scratch it. So that could be what's going on. <clears throat> and that's my daughter's, um, vanity. <laughs> Forgot to get water. Okay. Anyways, um, cancer, you were the sign with the most views. So it's going to go cancer, Leo, and then Taurus in that order. All right. I'm surprised that's dude. My cancer video had like almost four. It was like 300. I was going to say almost 400 views, but I don't remember. It was like 300 and something views. Um, almost 400, I believe. Um, and then Leo, Leos, you guys are, yay, <laughs> I'm a Leo son, so I'm really excited that Leos are starting to tune in to me, so, and Taurus, Taurus, that surprises me, <laughs> but I love you guys as well, all right, so let's just dive right in, so I have, the docs I'm using today are, um, this is my angels and Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Um, I also have my Kashuk Records Oracle that I'm going to use. And my Whispers of Love. And my Grace Cards for your angel reading. Um, whenever you find this reading, it is for you. This reading is timeless. And for those of you that say you cannot do, you cannot tap into someone's Akashic record, technically you can, as long as it's just for the collective. So I tap into the group energy of Cancer's Akashic. So, you know, it's not, it's not like I'm tapping directly into like your record personally. It's like the collective energy of Cancer, of the Cancer signs. All right, so let's proceed. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. The first deck I'm going to use is the Angels and Ancestors deck. I might need to pause and get some water. The lighting is really, really bright. I put it like right up here next to my face so that you guys could see. Yeah, that's the light is good. All right. So we are reading now for Cancer. I am asking that Spirit Guides let me know what Cancer's angels would like them to know. What are the angel messages for Cancer? All right, let's cut these bad boys. I will still be doing your guys' love readings as well. These are just going to be short little mini reads for you, okay? So... One card for Cancer, please. One card for Cancer. What do their angels want them to know the most? What does Cancer want? What is... Oh, that one's upside down. Let's read that one. Ooh, Sage. Be devoted and committed. So your spirit guides are asking you right now. Your spirit guides and your angels. Excuse me. This is the card of the devoted um, Sage. S-A-G-E. Teacher. Um, who they live with basically little or nothing. Um, they want for nothing. And so your angels are asking you to be in this energy of being committed and devoted to something. Now, generally, I would say it is asking you to be devoted to your spiritual path or journey. But in this case, you can choose to be devoted to, look at that card, it's beautiful. You can choose to be devoted to anything that stirs your passion. 
as long as it stirs your passion and you are being authentic to yourself, okay? We can go ahead and read a little bit of this card too and I can see what I can decipher from this for you. That was just the channeled messages that I got from you, for you, Sage. It's number 60. All right. It says, be willing to go the whole road and back again. This will allow you to be the best that you can possibly be. Um, it says the sage represents the wild one within you. Just what I thought. It says, when this card arrives, it shows you're preparing to become a great and insightful teacher to your peers. So see, it is like devoting yourself to... Um, like I said, spiritual journey, teaching. Um, it's like the, the, the wandering yogi type card. It also says devotion is a powerful energy. I felt very guided to tell you that. They said, oh, it says right now the angels and ancestors want you to acknowledge how committed you are to your growth. Your continued dedication to this aspect of your life has been recognized and your understanding that you are not only a body but also a soul is all you need to continue growing and expanding. So it's also about integrating all of the lessons you have learned so that you can teach them to other people. One second. Okay, sorry about that cancer. One of my babies was awake, so I had to do some mom duty. All right, let's go ahead and go into your whispers of love. There's one thing after another, isn't it? Sorry for any background noise. That is an alarm going off. Uh, I swear I can't win these days. Okay. I will not be just here. The messages of spirit need to come out. I am a clear channel for source messages. Alright, what do our cancels need to know? Cancels? Did you say cancels? I'm so sorry. I had to fix the lighting too because I didn't like it. I just pushed it back a little bit. It was like way too in my face. Alright, that one flew out. That must be your card. We actually have two, so we're going to go ahead and read both of these. So we have practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. And we have express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. Now, in this card, there are lots of um, things going on. So this is practicing compassion, not just for yourself but also for those around you. There is a great connection to nature in this card. There's like a little, it looks like a fairy or a sprite. She's holding a bird. Birds represent communication. So it's communicating with your higher self, with your angels. There's a butterfly in here, which represents the soul. Can you, where is it at? No, I see one. Right here. Can you see the butterfly? So that represents connection to your soul. Your soul knows exactly what it needs to grow. There's feathers, which also represents an angelic connection. So I feel like this card is definitely saying that they do want you to practice compassion not just for other people, but this card feels very much like your angels are asking you to practice compassion for yourself. You may have been going through a really tough time right now and feeling like there's things going on that you cannot control. And that is just Spirit's way of saying that they are with you, um, you know, telling you to practice compassion for yourself. They're saying that they're with you and they understand everything that you're going through right now. So they want you to practice self-love. 
the same compassion that you give to other people, they want you also to practice that compassion with yourself. So the next card we have is Express Love Through Gifts. One second. Sorry, I needed a bit of a water break. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So there might be someone in your life right now, a cancer that is needing to be shown how you feel. Now, the thing with most people is we can sit there and tell them all day how we feel. But most people don't really take our words um, seriously unless they're backed up by action. So your angels are saying that special person right now, you might feel like they're, you're not really connecting with them. And it's because they feel a little bit taken for granted. It's time to step up and maybe give them a small token of your love. Something that says, hey, I actually do see you and feel you and value you. Okay. And if you look at this card, it is a divine masculine and it looks like he's a merman. And he is giving this beautiful mermaid a pearl from a shell. And they're in the water. And it's funny, there's been a lot of mermaid sinks um, lately. I felt like I had something in my tooth. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was weird. <laughs> totally fast forward past that cancer. So this card is number 19. And what I've been saying, what I was saying, there's been a lot of mermaid sinks lately for me. And we even have water behind us. So a lot of water themes, a lot of water codes coming through lately. So 9 and 1 added up, it's 10. This this one, the show um, practice compassion is number 15. So you add it up and it's 6, which is the number of spirituality and family. All right, so we're going to do a grace card, and then we're going to tap into your Akashic Records for the collective for Cancer Signs, and we're going to call it a mini-read. All right. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What else do our beautiful Cancers need to know for this little angel mini-read? What do our beautiful cancers need to know? What do you want our cancers to know for their highest good? What do they need to know right now, please? What can we do to help our beautiful cancers right now? What do they need to know? I'll mix up those cards. What do our cancers need to know, please? One card for cancer, please. I'm not going to look because I can see what these cards are. So I'm going to turn my head as I... Oop, two cards. Oh, God, three. <laughs> Wanted to keep this reading short and they have so much to say to you. Okay, so we have affection. <laughs> Again, this represents affection for yourself. Also, it could be affection for someone else or someone else showing you affection. Either way, this is a card of affection, right? I feel like though, honestly, like there is someone in your, in your direct vicinity and you'll probably know who the person is who right now is a craving some sort of physical affection from you. Like they want some kind of physical proof that you are into them as much as they are into you. Okay. And I flipped it over and it does, here's the card. It does say, love yourself. See, I said it, it could be, you know, love for yourself or love for someone else. It says, you are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. Wow. Beautiful. All right. The next card we got is self. So this is um, feeling, again, there's a lot of cards here. Cancer about connecting to you, connecting to yourself. I feel like you definitely need to take some time. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I feel like you definitely need to take some time to connect with your higher self. 
I feel like right now you're going through a period where you don't really feel like you, sorry for any background noise, you feel like you, you're at a loss of, of where to go. You feel almost like you don't know yourself at this moment. And that's okay because we're all sort of on this journey of getting to know ourselves and connecting with our higher selves and with certain aspects of our soul. And so I feel like you taking this time period right now, you know, your angels are saying to take this time period for yourself to discover what is what it is that ignites your soul and what makes you feel alive, Cancer. And that is um, connecting to yourself and to your soul. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> See, this is the card. I just flipped it over and it literally says, go within. Like I was just saying, when we invest more energy in developing, and I had no idea. I hadn't looked at the card. I hadn't flipped it over. I was just talking. It's amazing when spirit does stuff like this. Okay. It always amazes me. But anyways, it says when we invest more energy and there is something that is it's bothering my tooth. I don't know if it's food or I'm sorry. It's just so annoying. I don't know. It's just weird. It feels like something's poking me. Okay, when we invest more energy in developing our spiritual lives, the outer world begins to take care of itself. So see, once you sort of discover those things about you that make you tick, everything else is just going to sort of fall into place, right? And it's not just going to happen overnight. It takes work. Discovering, you know, things, being self-aware takes work. Seeing your shadows takes work, but it's well worth the effort. Okay, then we have act. It says, charge forward. When we combine action with unwavering faith, the power of grace will meet our needs. So again, we have two cards about saying that your needs are going to be taken care of. Everything will fall into place. Now, this card act is about once you sort of discover the things that you need to discover about what makes you and your soul tick, then you will find that that fine line between ego and sort of letting go and allowing spirit to take over and taking divinely guided action is what's going to give you the results that you need to instantly sort of manifest your dream life. And when you do that, it sort of impacts all of us because we're all connected. So when one thrives, we all thrive, right? So there's that sort of, it looks like too, like this woman's in a church. So that might resonate with someone. There's Celtic knots on this one. So that might resonate with someone. You guys might have some, for some of you, this is going to be a definite Irish background. There's Celtic knots also on this one. So there could be some kind of Irish lineage. So if that resonates with you, then this is reading is definitely for you. Okay. All right. So we're done with those. We are going to do um, some Akashic reading cards. And we're going to call this a, an angel reading for you, Cancer. Um, I will do your love readings after um, once I get your, like I said, once this reading's out, I will, the next reading I do will be your love reading. So, so like, for example, I'm doing yours and then Leo or yes, Leo is next, right? Okay. So it's going to be you, Leo, Taurus. I'll do your guys' angel readings and then I'll do your guys' love readings. So that's how it's going to roll this month. sometime in there I will upload this sexual energy reads I'm just, I'm starting to flirt with the idea of maybe doing the sexual energy reads on my Etsy so that way if you guys want the same Etsy reading that is um in my Patreon and you don't want to have to pay every month to you know see the sexual energy reads that you can also purchase them from my Etsy shop so I don't know we'll see how that goes I'm, I'm thinking about it I'm not sure if you guys think that's a good idea cancers um, then leave a comment in the description box below letting me know if you guys would be interested in purchasing the sexual energy reads for your person, um, you know, through my Etsy shop. All right. So 
Tapping into Akashic Records for Cancer, we have number three, Chakra Cleanse, and 31, Religion. So, I'm sorry if there's background noise. Someone must be awake. Okay, so Chakra Cleanse. There is going to be some very important things that are going to pop up. You'll notice in your energy field that are going to have to call for a major Chakra Cleanse. Now, I feel like you're going to know, you're going to feel it. Like, it feels like there's going to be, there's, there's going to be like some kind of significant, um, something that happens. Now, it's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it'll probably take the form. It could be of like an illness, sickness, um, you just feeling off. Um, for others, it's going to be something that'll happen on the physical, like there'll be a huge, fight maybe in your vicinity um an argument in your home it doesn't necessarily have to be caused by you it could just be something that happens around you and i feel like though you'll feel the negative energy sort of clustering um your space and your energy field and your aura and then you'll know that it's time to do that chakra cleanse this is in the number is number three okay so now you're you're a cancer that's a water sign so also your angels are saying it's very important cancer there's a hair somewhere it's irritating me it is very important cancer for you to on a regular basis not just when this big thing comes up um and now that i i'm tapping into your the akashic records for you know the group sign of cancer so what i'm seeing is um a real need to cleanse your chakras on a regular basis because most cancers are naturally empathic by nature it is very important that you guys cleanse your energy field on a regular basis so tr try to do it at least once a day if that's not possible try to do it at least three times a week it's just, this is very important especially for cancer signs because you guys are so empathic by nature you will tend to take on other people's energy fields and you'll get holes in your aura and things like that if you do not take care of your energy field and cleanse your chakras and your aura on a regular basis now you can do this by taking um, a bath if you can't do that um, then you can take a quick shower it's always best to soak in the bath for at least five to ten minutes with like some pink Himalayan sea salt in there. You can get it and you know at any store pretty much. Um Walmart has it. Um you know any health food store or anything like that. It's fair it's not expensive. Um and you can just put some of that in your bath and that'll really help cleanse your chakras. Um when I'm in a pinch and I can't you know do that like say I'm out somewhere I can't take a shower um, you know, right away, but I do feel this sort of heaviness. You can even go on your phone and look up aura cleanses on YouTube and you play them in the background. Like sometimes I do that when I'm in my car and I start to feel a little nauseous because I've been around people all day and it'll, you'll notice it'll give you an instant energy boost. Okay. Now this is, and I found this in, this is coming out in your Akashic reading. So there has been some sort of thing happening um, in your past life time loops and things like that where you didn't cleanse your chakras enough and it was creating issues for you in lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes so this is important it wouldn't come up in your akashic records if it wasn't important okay so just keep that in mind um and then this is religion number 31 if you again we got two threes because this is number three this is 31 add three and one and it comes to four now the four you know that four is the number of angels so your angels are heavy around me that just confirmed it um so now for some of you this whole issue of religion this is going to be heavy and i don't want you guys to take this the wrong way okay so i'm, I'm just going to say what they're saying and i'm not going to sugarcoat anything okay so a lot of you are having some traumas um, in relation to religion that need to be healed. Now, it's going to be different for all of, for, for, um, all of you, but there is a heavy um, feeling of sexual trauma related to religion. So now this could be things like being abused by priests, pastors, 
things of that nature. Um, experiencing childhood sexual trauma at these places and we know that it happens it tends to happen a lot in like you know different church environments the catholic church it's, we've seen you know it happens over and over again you know it's it, it's not um nothing it's not anything new it's it's been you know in different news medias things like that um, but also there is um, a heavy energy of just trauma in general being around religion. Now, for some of you, you've had past lives where you were beheaded or decapitated or same thing. What I meant to say was beheaded or tortured, um, things of that nature because of your religion. That is also a trauma which is will come up repeatedly and will need to be healed so for example if you're in churches and you don't like to go in churches because you just feel uncomfortable in them that could be the reason why there is also feelings coming up of um trauma just trauma in religion period so like for example some of you have had um bad experiences with religion because um you know you you were persecuted period and different past life times because of your sexual orientation like for example you know it was a time period where it was not okay to be you know um, to be of a, a different sexual orientation like you like the same sex and the church said this is not acceptable and then you were persecuted and some of you were even killed because of this religion right because it wasn't accepted and so i'm sorry <laughs> just I have a lot of trauma also in my Akashic Records. It comes up very often around religion and even now in, coming into this lifetime and into this timeline, um, I carried a lot of that religious trauma and I ended up going to a um, strict Baptist school. I went to school, uh, most of my um, teenage years were spent at this school and it was it brought the trauma up again. So I do get a little emotional when I talk about these childhood traumas because I experienced a lot of trauma there and a lot of um, bigotry and hatred there. Um, they, you know, they were very strict. They didn't allow us to wear certain things. The women were only supposed to wear pant or skirts. They were not allowed to wear pants. The skirts had to be a certain length. I mean, we couldn't even wear a chapstick because it was inciting lust in the boys. We had to stay six feet apart. And it was very, very conformist and very strict. And, you know, it brought up a lot of these um, traumatic um, trauma lines that I was experiencing, again, from my past life traumas when I had these sort of, I had to conform and I didn't want to, you know, and these... Like I said, these traumas will repeat themselves in different timelines and different lives over and over again. And I say, you know, timelines and lives because every we know time is linear. You know, the past is the future. It's all just a time jump, quantum leap away. But what I'm saying is these lessons will come up over and over again in each different timeline for you to heal. So it's okay to take a look at this in your Akashic Record and accept that what happened to you happened and you can heal it by open your heart to these feelings that pop up when I talk about things like this, you know, like sexual trauma, not being accepted for your sexual orientation, being beaten because you were a Christian or a Catholic or whatever. Those things are real and the heart stores those feelings. And so I'm sorry, I'm getting all overly passionate about this, but you know, the best way to heal those feelings is to just sort of feel them and allow them to sort of run through your body and then imagining that they're just sort of running off of you like water because you are not the things that you experienced. You experience those as a soul and you experience those things for a reason so that your soul can grow. We all have lessons that we have to learn in order for our soul to grow. It was just 2929 on my phone. So go ahead and Heal those moments so that you can live now in the present moment. All right. I love you so much, Cancer. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your subscriptions. You guys are amazing. Check out everything in the description box below by hitting that little upside down arrow right below my videos. 
and it gives you all all the things you need to know if you want to book a reading if you want to check out my etsy shop and all of that all right cancer i hope this reading helped you and i hope that you get the courage to heal those traumas that you can move forward this was supposed to be a mini read and it's like 30 minutes long all right i gotta go bye <laughs>